This was the worst video. In all of the documentary episodes, this one made Teal look the most unhinged. And, and I'm hesitant to do a reaction because I know that there's a segment of the population that really has benefited and continues to benefit from Teal's work. So if that's you, if you feel like watching Teal's videos, going to her workshops gives you a sense of stability, a sense of direction, a, a sense that you're, that you're known and understood, th then keep doing it. I think that there is real value for you in following Teal. I don't want to, there's, there's nothing in this documentary that should preclude you from wanting to be a part of, of their mission, if it fits. But if you've gone to Teal's workshops, if you watched her videos and you don't feel like you're understood, if you, if you feel insecure, if you feel like it's not working or not helping, then, then, then watch the documentary series, listen to reaction videos like this, because I think it will give you more insight into what's going on with this person. Who really is Teal? In my opinion, this episode painted Teal in the worst light. It wasn't about her work as much as it was about who Teal is and how she treats her team. And it made her look like an absolute nightmare, just a narcissistic wreck. Now, I, I have watched her reaction video. I know that she is saying that this has been sliced and diced and put together to create a false narrative. And, and I think, honestly, I think that may be true. But there are segments of this that feel unadulterated to me that I think really do show you how Teal works. The first is when Teal is in a group meeting with her team and she's expressing frustration towards Juliana. And she says, I feel tension. So what we're going to do here is have everybody in this group tell you how you feel about me. Do you know what would be interesting to me actually? Is based off of the interaction that you and I have had. What you think your attitude towards me is? and what every other person here thinks your attitude towards me is. What I think of you, that you're like really clear in what you want and where you want to go in your life, and that you have like a very clear commitment to your mission. But in general, like, you're a very powerful person. All right, let's go to somebody else then. Because that was a very toned down, very sweet, very sugar-coated answer. I do feel that you really wanted to be part of this. I think the, the, the mission is fascinating for you. You say she's powerful, but I feel you see a negative power in her. I think you think that she doesn't care about people. I think you think she's hungry for power. I think you think she's manipulative. I think you hate Teal on one level. I think you're envious of her. You think I support and add to painful suffering in the world. You think that I'm an attention whore. You think I'm a narcissist. You think I control others, even the way they see things. You think I'm too masculine, too harsh, not very nice, don't care about people, manipulate Blake. I'm tyrannical, have the wrong values, use people. I hurt myself and others. I'm power hungry and responsible for the power struggles between you and me. I want everyone for myself. I surround myself with enablers, that I'm very powerful, that I'm very talented, that I have a very meaningful mission. How conflicting. That's what I get to live with in the room with me every day. That somehow you're the one being attacked. Can you imagine what that would be like? I don't care what the setting is. I don't care what the context is. By the way, I don't believe Teal mentioned that in her reaction video. Uh, can you imagine what that would be like to have everybody that you work with turn around and tell you how you feel about your boss? I've watched that clip over and over and over again trying to figure out what Teal thinks she's doing. It, what it feels like to me is a very immature understanding of group dynamics and a very immature understanding of... Uh, of, of the power of transparency, the power of authenticity. There is, in, in group therapy, there is an intervention that therapists will sometimes make where they ask somebody how another person is making them feel, right? So it might be appropriate for Teal to say to Juliana, how do you feel about me? And then it would be appropriate for Teal to say back to Juliana, this is how you make me feel. It might even, in a very safe high functioning group be appropriate to ask people in the group how Juliana is making them feel. But in that case, it's all about the known experience. I'm asking other people 
how does she make you feel? There's no debate, right? You, everybody can own their experience. What you would never do in a group is tell Juliana what she feels. Juliana, I think you think that Teal's X. I think, right, it's this, it's, it's distorting it so that it becomes invalidating of Juliana and just a global attack of her and her character. And then to, to top it off, Teal turns around and goes, here's my list. And the way she presents it, it's not like, here's what I think you feel about me. It's like, this is exactly what you feel about me and this is what I have to live with. Like the level of arrogance that Teal has in her ability to know what other people are thinking and feeling is, it, it, it just feels, I'm trying to think of a stronger word than out of touch, but it feels out of touch to me. And just as a side note, you could call this the projection circle. This is just what all of these people actually feel about Teal, and they're uncomfortable saying it, so they want to attribute it to Juliana. By the way, and I include Teal in that group. Teal's going through the list, narcissistic, blah, blah, blah. I think Teal feels like she's a narcissist. I think Teal worries about that. She worries that people perceive her that way because she experiences some of those thoughts and feelings. The next piece that was really notable to me was the interaction that Teal had with Blake in the kitchen. If you just watch the documentary, you see Teal get upset and, and dress Blake down in a very controlled and methodical manner. She goes, you are weak, you lack bravery, you're a loser, you lack honor. I mean, it's like this just very pointed attack. It's not about her having lost composure and freaking out. It's about her wanting to hurt him. I think you're weak. It's my ostrich. I think you lack bravery. I think you lack honor. But you've made your bed and now you get to lie in it. He who chooses a weak path does not become a match to greatness. If you want to flip the favor around, like you guys have been doing to me, the level of fucking judgment you have on me being a narcissistic bitch, you're a fucking absolute loser. Always will be. Never forget those words. If you watch the reaction video that Teal put out, she goes, this is taken way out of context. That interaction didn't happen that way. And I think she might be right because all of those insults, you don't see Teal say them. They're in the background. She's saying it and they're showing clips of Blake being, you know, distressed by the, whatever, by the counter. And so it is very possible that they clipped that so it sounded like she was dressing him down. But it is true that at some point, Teal was saying those things to Blake. She acknowledged she was mad at him about something else and she attacked in that way. So the takeaway for me is the same. When Teal gets upset, she goes to hurt somebody. And to me, it is, it is clear that this is a reaction that Teal's been hurt in her life. And I think that while Teal wants to be self-aware, Teal wants to be intentional, Teal, all these things, when Teal gets hurt, her first response is to attack the person. And we've seen that in the other episodes. Clinically, when somebody pushes back on her, when someone challenges her, her first reaction is not to ask questions and learn. Her first reaction is always to attack. And so I think this is just us seeing how that happen, happens real time in Teal's personal life. Now, the last thing is this contract, this list of non-negotiables that Teal is having her team sign. I understand that Teal is saying, it wasn't her idea, it was her team's idea. I don't care. Teal's still the boss. And Teal, you are still having your team sign this super, super restrictive list of non-negotiables that will unquestionably limit what their life look like. looks like. You are definitely preventing them from growing and developing because they're part of your team. And I, and, you know, I get it. Teal is giving them the option to opt in. I get it. It's uh, Teal would argue that people can leave the group, no problem. I'm not sure I believe that, but Teal will tell you you could leave the group, no problem. It's not a cult. You can do whatever you want. And if you want to be part of this inner circle, which I have made you feel dependent on, you have to restrict your life in a significant way. To me, it's concerning. To me, it feels very controlling. And just the way Teal talks about herself, her fame, and her need for protection feels just totally over the top for me. It, I can't help but wonder if Teal has a very strong need to be important and has a very strong need for people to constantly 
constantly demonstrate for her that she's the most important thing in their life. And I wonder if that's because growing up, if Teal always felt like she was being dismissed and was never important. And, and this is finally kind of her space to create the level of security that she's always wanted. It's my guess. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. Hit the like button, subscribe, all of that.